What we're going to do now is to create our own project and use the so-called mass upload feature. To do that, go into the project view of the uh, screen. So click projects right here. And then you're brought into all the projects in a given field. And then the next thing that I'd like you to do is to go into the manual by clicking this question mark. Uh, and then click onboarding and then mass upload example. In the mass upload example, you see that there's 11 different uh, Eagle Ford Wells that's provided in this link right here. So just click this uh, button right here. And then if you go back to the software and click uh, add project to the upper right, just call it your first name, for instance, uh, and then test or onboarding. So I'll just call it Matthias test project. And then what you'll see is that this project has a tag that's private. What that means is that this is a private project that only I can see within uh, the organization. If I make this a company-wide project, then everyone in the organization can actually see this particular uh, this particular uh, project and do edits on it. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'll like to just keep it private. Uh, and then I'll make a little note here that this is uh, this is to demo uh, mass upload. Then I'll click this uh, icon right here. And uh, the uh, mass upload file that I had uploaded, which I'll just do again here, if I click the mass upload uh, uh, feature right there, and I click mass uh, upload, I can just simply drag and drop that into this uh, view right here and click save. What the software does now is that it takes all the data in this file right here, and you can take a look. And that's PVT data, it's reservoir initialization data, it's, uh, it's uh, completion parameters, it's wellbore configuration data, et cetera, et cetera. All this data, and it just databases uh, these 11 wells for us. Uh, so we can go ahead and use it. Um, and in the next session, what we'll go ahead and do is to do some analysis on this well number four called Kite.